When doing a blood draw, it's uh, critical to remember the recommended order of the draw. And so I have that up behind me now. Why should we worry about the order of a blood draw? Well, we want to avoid cross-contamination of additives between the tubes. And so the recommended order in any blood draw begins first with the blood culture tube. Uh, this is probably the yellow-black stopper. And then two, the non-additive tube with the red stopper. Third, the coagulation tube the light blue stopper, and then last, the last draw is always the additive tubes, and those then have an order all their own as well. So by remembering uh, this order of doing first the blood culture, non-additives, and coagulation before you get to the additives, you avoid cross-contamination, you avoid um, getting everything mixed up. And so you begin with the fourth one here, this last draw is all the additive tubes, you do them SST first, the serum separator tube with a red, gray, or gold stopper the uh, sodium heparin uh, tube, then the plasma separator tube, the PST, followed by the EDTA, the ACDA or ACDB, and then finally the oxalate fluoride. If you'll remember this recommended order and commit it to memory and follow it, um, then you'll obviously avoid the cross-contamination of additives between tubes, which is very important in getting accurate results anytime you do a blood draw.